Hi, it's Taz with Handheld Hollywood, and this is the Auli Bubo. And I've been very excited to show this off for quite some time. I've had it for a few weeks now. It's, this, uh, this is actually one of the very first ones off the, off the production line. But I've been aware of this thing since early July, I think? It's been, it's been talked about a lot over the net ever, ever since it was first announced. But they've just started manufacturing them. So what is it? Well, it is essentially, it's a grip for your iPhone when you're shooting movies so that you can take more stable films. Um, by holding, it, holding a camera like this, you're bound to get less shakiness than just holding it like that or even with two hands. Even this, it's this as opposed to this. You get a lot more stability like this. But it actually has a lot more functionality as well. Most obviously is this wide angle lens. It's a 37 millimeter wide angle lens, so you can fit a lot more imagery into the picture. Um, it has this forward facing microphone, uh, which is great because normally when you take movies with your, with your camera the normal way, the, cam the uh, microphone is pointed off to the side, actually that way, uh, so that doesn't really pick up the voices in front of you, but this directional mic helps with that certainly. Uh, it's actually a pretty good mic. Even if you're not using it in the bubo, even if you take it out of the bubo, this microphone still comes with it which is great for dictation or if you're using it in conferences and stuff. Um, and then what else? We've got a hot shoe, not a, excuse me, not a hot shoe, a standard shoe right here for any sort of shoe mounted accessory like you might have a, a, a battery powered light that you want to put up here. Um, you've also got four quarter inch screw holes in case you want to attach some other accessories or actually mount it on a tripod in case you're doing uh, interviews or some sort of stationary work. This right here is a little surface where you can push the phone out of the case when you're done with it, just like that. And this is it without the phone. This thing is incredibly well built. It actually, it looks to me, I'm not sure if this is true, but it looks to me like this was, this was milled out of one solid piece of aluminum. Uh, it's really sturdy. Like you'd have to take a hammer to this thing to do any damage. Um, but it's got a terrific weight. It's, it's just the right weight for getting a little extra stability in your hands. Any, any lighter than it is, and it wouldn't really add much stability. Any heavier, and it'd be a drag to carry around. So it really is a, an excellent weight. So to test the alley, I went down to the corner nursery and did a bunch of you know walkthroughs and pans and uh, you know virtual crane moves and stuff like that, just to see how stable I could get it. And, uh, and let's take a look at the footage. So here I'm walking through the entrance of the nursery. As you can see, it does have a little wiggle. I mean, it's not a steady cam, but it's pretty good. Now compare that to this shot, which is the same thing without the alley. I'm trying really hard to keep the camera steady, but as you can see, it, it does have quite a bit of extra jitter in there. To answer the question, why is this so cool? Aside from the fact that it does, its, you know, it does its job really well, is look at this thing. This is crazy. I mean, I'm trying to remain impartial, but look at this thing. It's crazy cool. Everywhere I went, anytime I, I was sh uh, shooting with this thing, um, I got mobbed. Essentially, people always came up to me and asked me what I was doing, including people that that don't know about iPhones or don't so much care about it. They just saw this and said, you know, what are you doing? Including uh, some, some, some women at the dog park who, you know, had no interest in, in cameras at all, but were suddenly very interested in this. And uh, I actually brought it into the, uh, the Apple Store as well. I was shooting down on 3rd Street Promenade in Santa Monica, so I thought it might be kind of fun to walk this into the Apple Store. And uh, as soon as I did, I was mobbed instantly. And not by the customers, but by all the employees. Um, and uh, if they weren't passing around my iPhone, I would have taken a picture of the scene because it was pretty funny. But, but for me, the coolest thing about the Bubo was these quarter inch screw holes that are on all the four corners. Because this is so light and so sturdy and I feel quite safe with my phone in here, it's not coming out. Um, I felt comfortable putting this entire rig onto a monopod. Um, obviously it works great for a tripod if it's just stationary, but I actually stuck it on a monopod and was able to then raise it high into the air and get some really interesting aerial shots. And then I started to get really crazy and I mounted the monopod to the top, which meant I could hold it upside down, the camera would be straight up, basically be like this, essentially, and I put it really, really low to the ground and I was able to get, you know, like a dog shots, a point of view dog shots. Able to move it all around, I ran with it for a while, completely comfortable that nothing was going to happen to my phone because this thing is built like a truck. And then because I was feeling particularly crazy, I went ahead and did this. I extended the arm and I put it outside my car when I was driving around, which I'm sure is very illegal. And I put it on the side of the car like this and I held on it outside the window 
So I was actually able to get driving footage. Of course, when I came back and looked at the footage, there was a pretty big sun behind me, which kind of glared out the footage, so you don't see that much detail. But the idea is sound. Having said that, do not do this at home. Don't do it. Don't do it. Your phone will fall out, it'll smash, it'll break, and then you'll come after me. Don't come after me, I'm not liable. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But if you do it, it's very cool. Now the alley does have some downsides. They're, they're minor, but, but you should know about them. Uh, the first is because this was milled out of one solid piece of metal, or so it seems, um, there's a lot of sharp edges. Uh, for instance, the shoe mount has some sharp edges. There's some art sharp edges along the sides over here down here. I wasn't aware of them when I first picked it up and I actually nicked myself when I was first playing with it. Um, so just something to be very careful of. Um, also, this, this is a phone grip, but when you have the microphone installed here, as you can see, it kind of gets away a little bit uh, from your hand holding the grip. Now, I have pretty big hands. Oh, ideally, I'd want to grip it, you know, up here, you know, like way up here. Um, but I think it's meant to be gripped from the sides like this, allowing room for the microphone to come out. And this still works quite well, and this is how I shot all the test footage. Another downside is uh, getting the phone into the case. Um, basically, they ship you this rubber iPhone case, and it goes on your iPhone, just like any other case. Uh, two purposes. First of all, to protect your phone from scratches when it goes in and out of the metal case. Uh, but also, it's this rubbery cushion that actually acts as the grip that keeps it inside the metal shell. The thing that's a little bit of a downside is um, the rubber slides around the back of the phone, just like any sort of rubber case will do. So you can cover up the camera hole if you're not careful. And by just taking the camera and throwing it to the mount, it will definitely cover the hole because it slides the plastic a little bit as you put it in. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. I had to try it a few times before I got it just right, where you have to actually pull the plastic down in front of the camera, in front of the display a little bit, before putting it into the bubo. And then in doing that, it sort of shifts it right back into place, so now there's no plastic, there's no rubber covering the lens. But that's it. Aside from those few downsides, this is a pretty terrific grip. It does allow for more stable shots, uh, a wider angle, and you can do some pretty creative stuff with these screw holes if you're interested in doing that. Uh, the microphone also works great. I didn't do much tests of the microphone, but in my own experience, it, it's quite nice. It's far better than having a side-pointed microphone. But all in all, I'm really glad that the Aldi guys sent me this. Um, because I can see using it quite a lot. Uh, it's a great little, it's a great little, great little device. Uh, for Handheld Hollywood, this is Taz, and we'll see you next time.